Ah, oh, looks like I'll be recorded. Paul does I look like a ghost today. Let's see if that's a little bit better. Oh, not by much, so we'll do what we can do. We'll be taking a look today at a little bit of lessons in our Arben's book. If you actually have the silver edition that I'm actually going to be using for our whole entire lessons. We're going to start off with exercise 10 on your first studies. It's on your page 12. Let's do a quick little warm up. Let's see, I can barely even see on here. There we go. Next portion is going to be a different key. Watch my fingerings. Another key switch. It'll be too sharp for you. Key switch, three flats. A good thing I always tell you always make sure your slide is actually oiled. like that. Okay, four sharps. Now these kind of videos was on my desktop might not be fully clear of course feels like I'm swaying I'm gonna be showing you a lot of the finger positions for it in case if you're not really great at reading actual music notes then you'll be able to follow at least the fingerings you probably play a little bit and better tune than I am one flat concert E flat major
watch your accidentals and that actual measure because the second note and that one is actually a B natural. They label it for you. Next, I want you to look at the thing of bead G's. B E A D G C. Everything is flat except your F. Make sure you follow the notes on here. Concert F major. Watch your accidental. Your next are four flats. We know this is A flat major, bead. The reason why you're not going to do an A major is because your A major is actually three sharps, which actually that's your next one. Believe it or not, is going to be A major. So this is A flat major. The other one's going to be A major. Although, to be quite honest with you. Although that's what the scale says, they're actually a different kind of a mode. We won't worry about this. Wait until we start doing really advanced studies for music scales. Try that with the own, uh, middle finger, middle valve. Play the V before you play the E flat. Concert, let's see, it's your A major, so it's concert G. Concert B flat major, you're playing a high F on top of the, on the staff. Start off with your low F, go to B flat, D, and then F. Listen to it before you start the scale. I gotta watch accidentals. Cause I know if you're like me, we just wanna play the scale without looking at accidentals. And that's probably not a smart thing. Especially if you've been playing the trumpet for a while, you don't wanna make those kind of mistakes. Now that's pretty much your number 10 on that. <clears throat> I feel like doing number 11 with you. We're gonna focus on first stage just for this video. You'll see a lot of the videos we have on there. If I get a chance to, I'll put in the description where it actually is. If I don't, just listen to what's being stated on the video. But you're going to should be having a lot of these videos populate on your screen if you're watching. Through the Living Trumpet, which is a playlist on the Looking Glass of Sherlock Bogart. So number 11, still on First Studies, page 13. Now this one I just want you to hear. 
I'm gonna turn a little bit away from you. If you can't see the fingerings, then you just go ahead and follow along. And you don't have to do pulse 60 to 108. We're gonna take it nice and like moderato. <laughs> We're going to look at study number 12 on this. It's still going to be in your concert E flat major. So it's still playing one. You're still playing one flat with that being B flat above, below, and on the staff. Or in the staff, I apologize. And make sure you have your staccatos in there. And actually, they're more like Mercato, but I'm gonna, I'll play them as Staccato for you because you're supposed to have those short and separate. Here we go. <laughs> You guys have been so well attentive. We're going to do number 13 now. And actually, we're going to do 13 and 14. We're going to finish off the page. So, first study is page 13, should be the whole entire lesson. <laughs> You'll notice the key change on there. That key change went to concert B flat major. The next one is concert F major. And let's take a look here. I really can't see, so I'm going to use my phone to also read it for you guys. And actually, let me. Now I'm not going to do the ambidextrous way. There we go. So that's what we have on page 13. It's a little fun tune. I'm just going to fold the corner here. I don't have a highlighter. So if you have the book, carry a highlighter, a pen. We're going to try something I like to do. It's called slurring and legato playing. 
I want you to go on over to page 40. This is actually in section 2 of your book. We're going to look at unit 9 or number 9. You call it unit or number, it doesn't really matter. We're going to do it slowly. We're going to do it a little bit slower than 110 or 116 because I don't like 116 on that. Not a bad little bit way to work off the embouchure. We'll try number 10 on that same page. I want to give you a little tip here. Pop your vowels when you're playing this. Don't just, you see how I did a little bit with glissando on there? Don't really focus on doing fancy stuff until you've got at least the basic down, but pop your vowels. Concert. Uh, won't matter. Oh, does he have two? You have two sharps. So it's concert D. Your D major. <laughs> Yeah, D major is a lot different. Of course, B flat, you always go two steps up, and actually, for all transposition, you do that. Yeah, so just D major, not D minor. D minor is a whole different ball game. So let me make a quick note on all that. Find a pen and be nice. Okay, found my highlighter. Is it? Always try to have one or a pen on you. Our next section I want to look at is going to be number three. Which is just major scales. Currently it's major. I'm not for sure where we actually left off in one of my other videos on here. So we're just going to start off with the first one. It's a 2 4 time. It's a concert B flat major. And I think you'll go ahead and like it. Thank 
Fanafest. For that number one, just think of all your major scales with no sharps or flats. And if you actually want to get a little bit testy on it, treat each scale as a new major scale, but actually put the needed sharps and needed flats in there. And if you are doing the coming down like on when you go to, from the G to G on your second line. Make it more like a melodic minor. But have the actual G that you do a few a few measures before. Have that as your regular going up natural, coming down melodic. Have fun with it. So although I was your major skill number one on that page, I don't want you to really focus on doing a whole bunch of those. You'll have a different video just entitled for scales. Who knows, you might actually have several other videos coming at you from different times. And I used to have a card in here that had all this stuff marked down. Oh, I do have it here. Let's see, you're on your ornament. It's called ornaments or preparatory exercises on the turn. Okay, it's one, you're doing number two and three. Actually, those are the ones we completed. Sometimes when you're doing a lot of these, you'll realize, uh, that I completed it. Like I sure did. So this preparatory exercise on a turn is your fourth scale. It's going to be concert. E flat major. Your E flat major always look at your second flat before you determine what the scale is. Because constant E flat major, you'll begin on E flat. However, you have three flats, remember that. Like on concert F, you'll begin on your F mate. Concert E flat major, you'll begin on your F if you're a B flat instrument. But it's only the B flat that's flat. So I just want to do the fourth line. What do we try to pay attention to the actual notes? B, E, and A. Unless it's dictated, notated as an A natural. What it which it isn't here. We're going to mark that down. It's going to be a short session because I don't want to be here all night. I actually have other stuff to do, believe it or not. We're going to do some more advanced studies, and I would like to, us to do a different number on here. According to last time when we did this, we actually had 
a lot of interval the first the second third fourth fifth and the sixth interval completed and if you didn't see those videos I'm just gonna get I'm gonna give you an actual breakdown of them you can go ahead and do those on your own but this one is gonna be G C everything is flat but F and now they say you take a 68 to 108 Which is okay, but I want to I want to take that as if we're doing like eight eight time, give them better values. When you're doing a lot of these things, if you're doing it right at tempo like they want you to, you're going to mess up. So this is a bead G C. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give you some better advice on that, because everything that's flat, your actual beginning note is going to be D flat, it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. Because it's the same as your major, your C sharp, your second note. Because it's flat, it's going to be fingered as two. Your C is going to be one and two. Your B is flat, so let's put one. Actually, correction, that's two. That not a C, that's an A. It's two and three. We're going to try this a little bit differently. Take it slow with me. Difficult scale, is it not? I say, play out of all the scales you play as a trumpeter, or even if you're not a trumpet player but playing it, six flats will always throw you off. Same thing later on when we get to playing it. But it looks like on here they don't have that on your intervals training. Give it to five five shards. Wow, that's nice. Let's see. We've done a lot of tongue on here. This only have one, but I don't I believe we actually have two on here. So for our next lesson, which will be in about Two days, we're going to focus mostly on triple tonguey. And actually, we're going to be doing that with our first studies, and I'm going to take you through the, through one through five on that. <laughs> 